Hello, welcome to Zoologist Motion YouTube channel. Today we shall learn Lamarckism. Jean Baptiste de Lamarck was a French naturalist published Lamarckism in 1809. Earlier he was a botanist in his life up to 50 years but later he adopted zoology and started studying invertebrates in depth and detail he was the first person to introduce the terms invertebrates and biology he published his book philosophy zoologic in 1809 in which he explained his theory lamarckism He was the first person who proposed evolution as general phenomena not limited to single or specific organisms and he was also first to give formal theory about evolution George Cuvier was among the most aggressive critics of uh, Lamarckism and he was the first person to challenge Lamarckism as soon as the book was published Now let's have a look on the basic and salient features of Lamarckism what is Lamarckism Lamarckism says that internal forces of life tend to increase size of organisms direct environmental effect over living organisms similarly use and disuse of organs and inheritance of acquired characteristics now let's have a brief look on at uh, these one by one desire for perfection very important quote every organism has inner want or wish to be perfect for living this inner wish or want lead to increase in size of body or components of body similarly change in environmental conditions directly affect organisms and they change accordingly to live perfectly to survive in such conditions in the third postulate he described the use and disuse of organs very famous organs develop more when they are used more on the contrary organs become reduced or vestiges due to disuse now giraffe duck webs wading birds uh, legs like jacana are the examples of use of organs while snake legs eyes in the moles and hind limbs of whales are examples of disuse of organs in the last uh, postulate Uh, he said that acquired or adopted characters during lifetime are inherited to next generations and this lead to continuous development of organisms generation after generation now what is neo lamarckism copigard packard spencer and mcbride all these five scientists collectively try to support lamarckism in the light of new advancements and called the effort as neo lamarckism they did experiment on fur of animals in different temperature conditions and concluded that fur develops in cold areas while disappear in warm areas and from this experiment or these observation they concluded that organisms adapt to their environment when environmental conditions change organisms also change so in this way they supported lamarckism now let's have a look at the supporters of lamarckism very important part of this lecture the first supporter was macdougal he did experiments on rats learning he took a closed box and make made two holes in it one hole was uh, and lighted with the light but the other hole was dark when rats enter into the lighted hole they got shock but when they enter in the dark hole there was no shock after twice or thrice efforts by rats they learned that we must not go into the lighted hole because we will face a shock now uh, after keeping those rats uh, uh, for years in the box he bred those rats and then uh, obtained new of springs when the new nates were inserted into the box they learned very quickly better than their parents and he concluded that learning is a acquired character and that acquired character was transmitted to the of springs now he supported lamarckism in this regard the second person was fb summer he grew mice in different temperatures uh, let's say from 20 to 30 degrees centigrade and he noted that the uh, tail and body of the mice become elongated when those uh, mice were bred and then their offspring were kept in the normal conditions of temperature or low temperature their body size and tail was normal and he concluded similarly that 
if the environmental conditions change the organisms change accordingly and he also supported lamarckism the third person was lindsay lindsay kept warm and cold blooded organisms in different temperature conditions and noted certain physiological changes in them generation after generation and he also supported uh, lamarckism the fourth person was gover and smith uh, these two persons uh, destroyed the islands of female rabbits when they were born and noted that after the lens destruction antilens serum was uh, produced in the blood of the parents as well as in the offspring he, and they concluded that this was the result of a uh, change in the body which is uh, heritable similarly griffith and uh, dad lefson grew mice on rotating table that was very interesting uh, experiment they grew mice on a rotating table and kept those mice uh, on rotating table for throughout life and then they bred those mice with each other and uh, when new generations were produced new generation also used to live on rotating table and when new generation were kept on the normal floor without rotation they felt uh, dizziness so he concluded that the living on a rotating table was a acquired character and that acquired character was inherited into the offspring and uh, this was in support of uh, lamarckism similarly brown squad was another scientist who observed certain acquired diseases acquired diseases due to injury uh, for example exophthalmia hematoma and dry gangrene these are acquired diseases which are uh, mostly due to injury in the brain cells and he noted that these diseases were heritable and were inherited into the offsprings and in the newborns so and, and uh, newborns didn't have any kind of injury such but still they have these diseases and he concluded that acquired characters can be transmitted from parent to offspring and he was in support of lamarckism similarly cameron grew proteus aguinus proteus aguinus is a long tailed amphibian and used to live in the deep sea beds in dark and is a blind species uh, the body color is almost colorless camera took those proteus aguinus from the sea bed dark blind towards daylight and started growing them when they grow uh, in the daylight their body color would change to uh, brown and black and while they also developed their eyes normally and they were no no blind anymore so these kind of experiments helped camera to conclude that when the environmental conditions change organisms quickly adapt to themselves so the adaptation will be uh, inherited to the offsprings as well into the next generation so camera also supported lamarckism similarly winterbret was very famous uh, for his uh, quote the quote is that living mean reacting to changes in mean, what is living living is reacting to changes of environments when an organism cannot react to their environmental changes those organisms cannot live so this quote also helped the lamarckism uh, in the favor now let's have a look at some uh, rejection of lamarckism that why lamarckism felt challenges and uh, is no more in the use now the first person was august wiesman in 1890 uh, he took uh, mice uh, and cut the tails up to 20 generations and uh, after every generation every time newborn had tail so he concluded that if any acquired character in the life of organism <coughs> is occurred in the somatic cells that character would not be transmitted to the offsprings because offspring receives only genetic material from germ cells similarly kasser and philip transplanted guinea pig guinea pig ovaries uh, uh, were taken from a uh, black uh, black pig and then were transplanted into a white female and uh, noted that all the newborns were black there was no effect of white external temperature on the uh, development of newborns so he also concluded that genetics uh, changes uh, are only transmitted but acquired characters are not transmitted from parents or similarly environmental conditions uh, uh, don't have any kind of impact on the uh, inheritance 
similarly in the common practice we see that boring of ears of women's uh, for uh, ornaments uh, similarly feet binding in chinese a very famous ritual and uh, circumcising of boys uh, penises in the muslim and jewish community are not inherited to next generation they remain only in the in those organisms which were uh, impacted so these are the rejection points of uh, for lamarckism uh, hope you have got uh, new things today thanks